Welcome back to Forex Training. This session we will introduce banks, brokers, trading volume in Forex and floating and non-floating currencies to you. Firstly, banks. They can, by obtaining relevant licenses and credits, offer a number of services to their clients. For their good clients and all other brokers, they render their selling and buying supports. Banks' amplitude and diversity is low, but they have a strong ability to offer different deals to their customers. A broker is a bank or institute which offers services in financial markets. A foreign broker, such as Forex Services, provide all different types of financial services at once, as do others, such as Citibank and Deutsche Bank. These banks sit among the top five banks in the world. Secondly, private brokerage, which offers services in financial markets. There are local brokers that are in fact foreign exchanges or banks who offer only foreign exchange currency services. There are also stock brokers who deal mainly, if not exclusively, with the stock market. There are also foreign brokers, such as Forex, who offer all types of financial services at once, importantly including the stock market. Famous brokers in this area are FX Pro, FIBO Group and Hot Forex. Now we will talk about transaction volume in financial markets, especially Forex. This market is an interbank network that until 2008 made approximately $1.7 billion of financial trades per day. An increase in people's understanding of finance and the ever-increasing growth of technology has created financial opportunity for some to gain profit off these markets. Now, with the predominance of the internet and Chinese banks and traders entering the market, the market's daily trades had risen to nearly $3.2 billion in 2013. That is an increase in daily trading of $1.5 billion in five years. Now, to determine the market value, there are several points that need to be made. Firstly, market price is always floating freely. This is based on supply and demand between buyers and sellers in the market. And secondly, there is no limit on price increase or decrease. Determining market price in international markets is not up to a single organisation, but it is based on supply and demand between banks and financial institutions. It is comparable to housing prices, where no single organisation is involved in adjusting the price. To reiterate, it is because of buyers and sellers that the prices are always changing. Organisations and institutions with their policies can only direct the market. Market value is influenced by taxes and national and international financial news. Foreign currencies are divided into two groups, floating and non-floating currencies. Floating currencies are those whose price is based on supply and demand, such as US dollar, the British pound and Japanese yen. Non-floating currencies are those whose price is calculated by governments and central banks. Only floating currencies are available to trade with on Forex. That concludes this session. Until next time, take care.